So our next speaker is uh, a, someone you might think is an unlikely spokesman for mental health. He's a born athlete. He played baseball for the Pittsburgh Pirates before moving to the National Football League as a professional football player. He and his mother founded the Hayden Hurst Family Foundation Mission, <clears throat> which, which, whose mission is to raise awareness for mental health issues in adolescents and teens. As a foundation wants to open the communication channels to talk about mental health. It wants to eliminate the stigma, give guidance, and support for children in need. Please welcome the NFL football tight end for the Atlanta Falcons, coming to us from Atlanta, Hayden Hurst. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here speaking to everybody. Um, I'm going to take some time now to kind of tell my story about what brought me to mental health. Um, so I was drafted in the first round of the NFL draft in 2018 by the Baltimore Ravens. And me and my mom decided to start a foundation. And it focuses on mental health and suicide prevention in adolescence. And it's a topic that hits home with the Hearst family because my uncle and my cousin, both when I was younger, were uh, had problems with alcohol and drugs. And my uncle in 2010 decided to take his life. And my cousin, about two years later, ended up taking his life as well. And it's just, it's something that hits home with our family. It's unfortunate, but it's, uh, it's who the Hearst family is. And then uh, when I graduated high school in 2012, I got drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates. And um, all throughout high school, never really had problems with anxiety or depression, anything like that. And got with the Pirates in about two years, about a year or two in, had a, an issue called the yips. And it's a performance anxiety thing where you start noticing things that really is outside of your control. I started noticing, you know, coaches watching me, other players, and I started just noticing my hands would get sweaty. And it was, I couldn't even hold the ball in my hands and my hands would shake. Uh, I feel like I wanted to throw up. I really, I did not want to be out there at all. It was horrible. And I went through it for about three years. And not only did it affect me on the field, but off the field was, you know, my life was just kind of a roller coaster. I was drinking drugs, uh, staying in my room, a dark room, watching TV, didn't want to be around people. Um, it, it was pretty rough for about three years. You know, I tried everything that I could do. I talked to doctors, therapists, tried medication, and just nothing really clicked. But a good buddy of mine introduced me to journaling. And for every day when I was with the Pirates for about two and a half years, every morning, every night, any thought that crossed my mind, I would put it on paper. I would write it out just to get that those toxic thoughts out of my head. And uh, I really attribute that to why I was able to dig myself out of that hole. Um, you know, because I'm not much of an emotional person. I don't really trust people to share my story, I guess, you know, talking to therapists and things like that. But journaling was a way for me just to get it out and get all those toxic thoughts out of my head just so I can continue on with my day. And uh, it helped me for about two and a half years. Decided to leave baseball in 2015. And made the decision to go play football at the University of South Carolina. Uh, got there. You know, I thought all my problems were going to be behind me. Um, and my, I think it was my freshman season in January. I went out one night, um, made some pretty bad decisions, was taking pills, mixed it with alcohol, and tried to take my life one night. But yeah, I just remember sitting in that hospital room, you know, being, you know, cuffed to the bed and the jeans from the night before, covered in my own blood, just sitting there thinking to myself, like, Hayden, what, what are you doing with your life, man? What's going on? And I, I kind of made a promise to myself sitting in there, you know, I was going to be the best version of myself that I could possibly be. And I think from that night forward, I uh, pretty much dug myself out of the ashes and, and turned myself into all SEC, turned myself into a first round pick. And, you know, things weren't always easy in the NFL either. My rookie season, I uh, broke my foot and you know, had to deal with coming back from that. But the best thing that night in Columbia at, at South Carolina did for me is it helps me put things into perspective. You know, things will never be that dark or that bad for me again. Um, but I'm able to reflect upon it now, as bad as it was, it's helped turn me into the person that I am today. And uh, it's a huge part of the reason why I wanna reach out and tell my story to maybe help someone avoid, you know, going down that path that I did. But um, my message for people out there right now, with everything that's going on, this quarantine and, and corona, it's, it's, times are tough right now, it's hard. You know, no one's been through this before. 
We really don't know what's going on. We don't know when we're going to come out of it. But the best thing that I can tell people now is just take this time to reflect and, and focus on the person that you are and just become the best version of yourself. You have so much time, you know, to reflect and, and, and to be alone and be comfortable with yourself. You know, take the time to be with your family, um, exercise, do things that help get your mind off of, you know, ha having to stay at home and, and just be kind of, I guess, trapped, you know, but enjoy your family. And, and I would say just become the best version of yourself that you possibly can. You know, just, just take the time. You got plenty of time at home. Just be the best you that you can be. Appreciate you guys having me. Thank you to Hayden Hurst for sharing your story. For more information about Hayden Hurst Foundation, please visit HaydenHurstFoundation.com.